Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a Porn Pretty Rainbow Manicure Tool Review and I'm going to show you how I remove and renew my patch. And here's how the tool came. It came in a little plastic container and there's my old patch. We're going to soak it off with some acetone. I've got a corner of a makeup remover pad or makeup round and I've soaked it and I'm going to put my clip on it and let it sit for about 10 minutes. Okay, now I'm going to kind of wipe it off a little bit and I'm going to go in with the tool. Now, I've had a lot of people talk about how scary this tool is because it's metal. I can assure you that it's <laughs> it's a very good tool. I have not damaged my nails in any way doing it this way. Um, they do recommend uh, using pure acetone and, uh, you know, just going at it easy. You know, you don't want to go gouging and digging hard, which I'm not doing. I'm just pulling up that glue layer. It's glue and acrylic that I'm getting off my nail here today. The problem I'm having is up in that corner tip, kind of, well, let me see if we can get to it. Kind of over on that side. It's very thin. I'm going to do a little bit of buffing, just tiny. And I'm not buffing the nail. It's really just this... Uh, little bit of glue and acrylic that I'm going after. I'm going to put this um, round or partial cotton round back on my nail soaked in acetone and put the clippy back on it for another 10 minutes. Alrighty and we're back and here we go. We're going to go in with that tool and now I'm going to fine tune this clean up a little bit. I personally love this tool. Um, I've got another one like it. They're the same. Um, they work about the same. And I really do like the way this tool helps get that off. I've tried doing it with my orange wood stick and I just don't have as much luck. I'm not applying a lot of pressure. I know it kind of looks like it. And there's the corner we're patching. I patched the whole nail. I am going to soak it another 10 minutes. And then now we're just wiping it off. Now, at this point, I'm thinking that's more glue, but I realized that, nope, that's more peeling nail. And that's what had happened to that nail originally. So I'm going to go ahead, and I know that's probably not the right way to do it, but I am going to pull that little piece off because I don't want, you know, it getting snagged on anything. I want a smooth surface. I'm going back in with my nail file and just smoothing that little, sorry, I'm out of frame. There we go. Smoothing that little ledge because it did have I mean it's a total thick thickness difference there between you know my undamaged nail and my damaged nail so I'm making it smooth so I'm using the Gelish Mini foundation it is a gel um, product and I'm going to show you I wipe almost all of it off of the stem and the brush because I don't want a lot of product I like doing thin layers with this stuff and I am being careful to make sure I don't get it on my skin, but I want to cover that area that's really thin over there in that corner. And there we go. Just brushing it smooth, capping the free edge with the foundation. Um, I got mine at Sally's, the Gelish Foundation, and um, I've shown this before on other videos of me doing this kind of patch and I really do out of all the patch systems I've used this is my favorite they seem to last the longest and handle everything the best I've got this IEB, IBD acrylic powder and this is like the crystal clear and I'm gonna use a little scoop a little cuticle tool as a scoop and I'm just dropping it down over. I don't like dipping my finger down in it because I always smudge the, the gel underneath and then I end up with a lump. So I just, I prefer it better doing it this way. Kind of just dropping it on top. Okay, I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds under my LED lamp. And then I'm going to brush off the excess powder. So far, so good. I'm going to do just a smidge of filing, very, very light. And this is a very, very fine grit file, so I don't want y'all thinking I'm just going all rogue and crazy on this nail. It's very, very fine, and I just want to smooth it out the most I can, and I'm testing it to see if it's firm enough. 
or if I need to do another coat, if you need to, you can do another coat just like that. Go in with another thing of foundation and then some more acrylic and cure it. So I'm going to spray it off with some alcohol, clean it up, try to get every little bit of dust and whatever off of it. Can't even tell I got a patch really. I'm checking the end to make sure it's smooth. And now I'm going to top it with matte top coat because I want it to look like my other nails. I don't want it to be shiny. That's going to just seal that in in any of that acrylic and the gel patch you know, process. It's going to be all sealed in and it's just going to look like my other nails pretty much. I mean, there's a little bit of a difference, but nothing, you know, nothing drastic. I am capping my free edge again with the top coat. And I'm going to go in and make sure I don't have any of this on my skin. I get all panicky when it comes to the gel stuff because I have cured stuff to my skin and it's just a nightmare to get off. <clears throat> so there we go. Alrighty, and I have cured that one for another 60 seconds. I didn't pop up my little sign, but I did. So that's it for today. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.